So here we go. Um, Neko has said uh, S is Savannah's worst matchup, and Riley's S is really good. Uh, he's easily his best character. And he also has a really dumb assist in Game 4P to just control the sky and just say, get the fuck off of me. But really tough awesome combo from Neko is gets the anti air on S, takes the throw, and we're back to neutral. Catches Jin, trying to jump forward. Really good confirm, and into the safe jump. Okay, so he, uh, Riley fights his way out with the uh, S assist and is able to stop the cross combo and reset neutral once again and he's pressuring with S right now. Good push block there by Neko but he gets clipped by the Jin assist into a safe jump by Riley. Blocks the overhead but does not tech the throw. Can be good damage here by Riley but he does not punish the burst directly a bit too early. And a happy birthday there by uh, Neko. Oh, he should have killed Jin there, but he dropped the combo. And this is going to lead to a dead Orie. So what should have been a dead Jin is now a dead Orie. Riley is in a really nice spot here, but he uh, does his incoming a bit too early and lets Zavala come in. Counter hit confirmed there by Neko, and as long as he doesn't drop it again, that's a dead ass. Yep, goes for an easy route, does not even do the 5 p And now all of a sudden, Neko has a really nice lead. Let's see Riley's leaders. Got a nice gen. Alright, that should have been a double super there, but he did not confirm the combo. Catch them with the 5B on uh, Neko trying to do the overhead. Toga's him trying to chain in, and that's the end of Kazama's resonance. He gets the 5C, takes the lead. Oh, he even gets the Marvel. Sets up Snowflake. And Neko takes the throw, but Riley's in a really nice spot. And the tech throw there by Riley. And, but he does not hit get lost the overhead, and that's gonna be it. Yep. Gotta block those. Azama gets his full confirm. That overhead is actually minus if you block it. So there is risk there with the reward. But Neko was willing to throw potentially throw the game away in order to take the game and it worked out Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. we'll see what adjustments we got from Riley tries to start out with the 4 feet but Neko's able to avoid it but he's not blocking the overhead and immediate burst it's actually a really nice spot that burst wasn't too big of a deal for Riley but getting hit by that chain is and that's a safe jump. Let's see what the mix up is. Oh, he accidentally used his active partner. That's annoying, but not too big of a deal. But he doesn't react to the first. <laughs> Wakes up DB. Yo, he said, fuck your offense. I'm able to avoid the snowflake there. Trying to frame trap him, but Riley does not bite. And Neko chains in. DBS is this. Very good. Riley not able to get too much damage off of that, but Neko bursts into the 2B and Riley just shows 5C. Not too big of a combo, but damage is damage. Drops Ooh. to the E. This should be a dead Orie. So this is going to be a similar spot to last time, but not. But a way bigger lead than last time. So he's able to kill Oria, and we'll see if Echo can bring it back again with Azama, or if Riley can close it. Level 2 Resonance pops a bit early. So Riley's just gonna sit here, throw some fireballs, and try to wait out Resonance. And it's already almost gone. Yep, so that's the end of the Resonance. Gets nothing out of it, and he gets punished right at the end of it. Just 
I don't think that's gonna be death. But okay, he drops the combo. That was gonna go into a safe jump, but uh Neko gets hit by the meaty fireball, and that's one one. Get ready! Really convincing game there by Riley. Uh, healthy on both characters, but Neko's able to start out his offense at the beginning of game three. And Riley does not block the mix up. Uh, I don't know if that was a drop combo by Neko or if he was trying to read a burst. But regardless, Riley gets out and starts up a cross combo of his own. Gets the 14 there, and it's going to be real nice damage. Just all on a couple of life. So, roughly around even, because he just switched out S, gonna let her recover for a bit. But he's getting pressured by Orie. He was able to call out the 6P after uh, Neko backdashes. Get some damage there on Hazama. Not too big a deal, but damage is nice. Another cross combo by Neko. And Riley is doing better on defense and he's able to fight his way out. But he does not protect the throw. So we're gonna have to deal with some corner smix by Orie. Early uh, push block, not too good there. Waste of meter there by Riley. And yeah, so Hungry Coil after their act face is involved. So really bad burst there by Riley. But he's able to get the JA counter hit and has Neko in the corner. Neko push block his way out and DP there by Riley. He was to reverse the tides and now he's on offense. Neko has no meter. Forced to burst. Really nice spot by Riley. Just counter hit on Orie. Nice. But so she's gonna live. But good damage, gets the overhead on her wake up, and it's once again down to Hazama. Early left in his pop, but he needed the light. He had a lot of red life to recover, and he got it all back. Riley blocks the first overhead, but not the second. Uh, but Neko does not confirm, so he's able to still have S. Both characters alive. And good force there by Riley, but does not confirm. Wake up DP by Neko, and then he gets the command out. This is gonna be a dead gin now, and Neko's in a really nice spot to close out game three. Ooh, gets the instant air dash back. JA, and he's now up set point. Oh, that was an excellent comeback by Neko. Finally chiming in, I do have a commentary partner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at commentary, don't mind me. I'm trying to like I'm just I just got some down some McDonald's and I'm just like <laughs> I'm just like I got the items. I can't even ca catch up. But right now we got uh mm, game. Alright, we got Riley with the first hit. Corner pressure. Oh, yep, and then good push block there by Neko, and he gets a punish. On the whip. And now he has cross counter pressure of his own. Alright, we got, got some mix ups going on. Oh, Riley does not block. And bad burst there, but he's able to luck out with Jin's stupid hurt box. Kazama <laughs> combos do not like to work on Jin half the time. So, for whatever reason, Jin's just like, yeah, I don't feel like getting combos. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Alright. No confirm there from the 6 but not too big of a deal. Ooh. Gets the 4 Got some good damage there. Oh, JA there by Neko. Or a JA is such a dumb part. Hey, got a little confirm from. Yeah, see, that's a different route he has to go into than the normal BNB because Jin. It's Jin. Ooh, really bad that was a terrible there. burst by Riley. So once Oria EX Stab activates, all seven, I think it is, of those hits will continue. So you cannot burst that. Bursting it will get you punished. It does not matter what character, 
And Oops. down goes S. Yep. So no. 2v1 here by Jin. But Jin actually does well against both his characters. So this is not in any way over. Especially when he has level 4 resonance. But that's a bad Toga. And Ooh, that was it. smart. And is that? Yep, that's Dead the set. Done. One bad Toga, and Neko takes the set. Right. Yo, my, my, done already. That's what Hazama just said. <laughs> Surprised how free Riley was. Damn. All right.